What's going on with everybody? It's your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon, giving it to your real raw rugged. And I'm back here with another review. Very busy week, but not too busy to review this album. I've been kind of pushing this back and back. I felt like if I pushed it back today, I was going to keep pushing it back. So I wanted to do this album review today. This is Topaz Jones, Don't Go Telling Your Mama. I was supposed to interview Topaz Jones in like 2017, I feel like. Maybe even 20. Nah, not 2016. Maybe like 2017, 2018-ish. I was supposed to interview Topaz Jones. But me and his manager could just never come up with like a, a good day to the interview. So, hey, uh, we're back with a review. Instead of an interview, hopefully interview soon. But, uh, yeah, man, this guy right here. You ever hear an album and you can tell like, damn, he, he put some work into this. I can tell by listening to this, he really cared about the quality of the album. And that's really why I want to review it. Because I know when people craft things and very meticulous and they're very just uh you know perfectionist about their 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 art and their craft i feel like we should definitely show them love like there's people who make movies or you know people who play sports people who make albums it's like yo, you really dedicated this whole year to just for this one thing you dedicated the whole year just to win a super bowl and to happen you dedicated this whole year or two to make this album and now it's out three years sometimes you know what i'm saying however long it may take when they put it out i feel like they definitely need that pat on the back you feel me because they really put their heart and soul in this and that's what i feel like with this album right here this album is one of the best albums i've heard in 2021 and uh hey let's get right into it man without any further ado it's brought to you by Pizza Hut, man. Let's get into it. Um, I don't even know how to describe this album, but let's start with track one, man. Mirror, featuring uh, Levin Cali. Uh, somebody that's talking at the very beginning. They say, uh, hoes and hoe tips, which I think would be a crazy podcast. Imagine a panel of five hoes and five hoe tips, and every week they go on about it with, I don't know, man, whatever the new topics is, is today, man. Imagine hoes and hoe tips talking about WAP. That would be mind-shattering content right there. I don't know who's behind what, but somebody got to make that a podcast, bro. Just just, just gather and follow some, some top quality tier hoes, man. I'm talking about they, they dedicating just, they, they, they hoe a tree is poetry, man. And get five hoe tips, man. Put them all in the room, let them do their thing, man. That would be an amazing, amazing watch, man. But anyway, uh, fire, fire uh, track, man. Uh, Cali, bro, he cannot, excuse me, not Cali, but uh, uh, Topaz, he could rap, bro. I knew that, listened to his older stuff, but I didn't know he could rap like this because he was more singy, singy, harmonizing our rap, but he's rapping. Like, I'm like, yo, bro, bro, kind of hard, man. With the, what do you say? Sipping on my Kool Aid to the wall breaking. That was fire. Um, Very just funky, groovy beat to start it off. And I feel like that was a nice way to, to kind of just open you up and what this album is going to be like. Because it didn't go full funky, you know what I'm saying, until like later in the album, which I really want to talk about because it has elements of a group that it's like, wow, it's crazy that he's pulling from this but we'll get into that later but first track mirror good good opener and then we go to dial d-i-a-l but it has like the acronyms right there no idea what it stands for i listened to the song multiple times to see did he say i don't know uh did i did, did i ally i don't know i was trying to figure out what he, I, I didn't hear any acronyms but it's dial with the little dots in between like t-i man like, what does t-i stand for i don't i don't know if that like i mean i know a nigga named a nigga named clifford right that's crazy bro imagine looking at a baby and me like yeah man name this little nigga clifford <laughs> Nigga named after the big red dog, man. That's hilarious. Anyway, um, yeah, this was fire here, man. I love this song. He showed that he could really, really rap on this, bro. And he has a knack for hooks, man. I feel like I've been listening to a lot of albums with great hooks. And this doesn't exclude, man, with that. We got money to be made. Boom, boom. And I just want it right now. You ain't getting about down money to be made. What do you say? Uh, I got a, I got everything I style. Diane is a lifestyle. And then, then, hey, I love this track right here, man. He was spazzing, bro. What do you say? He said, uh, teacher, he said, teacher, see, you don't give a F, but they still failing you. Fire, man. Hey, that's a fact, bro. A lot of these teachers don't know how to deal with kids. They see a nigga just don't care about school. And I feel like when you're a teacher, you should be doing more than just A, B, C, one, two, three, and I go do the homework. 
Teachers are supposed to be role models and to help mold kids and to be good people. Nigga, I didn't see teachers. I remember I had this one teacher. She was actually a good teacher, so this is a bad example. But this is like somebody that would say this doesn't care about you, but she actually cared about us. She was just a wild, like, cannon. This is a third degree. This nigga, he rolled up a, a, a fake blunt. Like, he took paper, he rolled it up, he was fake smoking it. And she was like... She was like, what she said? She was just looking at her sugar head. She said, she said, I already know. Most of y'all gonna be pimping and the girls gonna be some hoes. <laughs> It's a third grade. But like I said, she cared about us. But I can imagine the teacher that don't care about the kids. She'd be like, y'all gonna be pimping and then y'all gonna be the hoes. And that was crazy she said that to me. I said that to, to us. She said that to me. She said that to the rest of the class. But yeah, man, this is uh, a lot of teachers really don't be care about their kids at all, man. But he was spazzing, bro. What'd he say? He said, uh, he said something about getting something for somebody's birthday. You pay it with your taxes. We march, but the madness will throw off your bracket. Fire! What? Come on, man. I played the March Mad nigga. I ain't have Oral Roberts, nigga. I didn't even know what Oral Roberts was. Nigga. I thought that was a thought that was a 1990s MILF porn star or something, bro. My, nigga, Oral Roberts threw off everything, man. I think I didn't know who Max A. Smith was. Kevin no better. Who are these niggas, man? Nigga threw off the whole bracket, man. But I like the way he tied that together with the March Madness and then pay it with your taxes and throw off your bracket. That was fire right there. Bro, what'd he say? I seen a black man elected, but have you seen but have you witnessed one happy? crazy like he was just in one of them bags bro i wrote down bro I can rap <laughs> like i was just like yeah this nigga actually spazzer right here this nigga is so talented man that was a fire fire song and then we go to herringbone this is different he different for this this he he came in with the high-pitched voice singing man this is elite cookout music right here man with the with the uh, uh what would you say can we get along when you get to the 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 the, the, the can we get along is evening part man uh just a little bit of family dysfunction we all about it hey we all about it and it's just look to be the family dysfunction, we all got it. Hey, we all got it. This is so smooth right here, man. Then he came with the Can we get along this evening? Do do do. Turn to the family of I'm gonna flow. Can we get along this evening? Hey, this is so fire, bro. It's so jiggy, it's so smooth, man. He got this type of earth wind and fire to him that's the group i wanted to bring up man he got an earth wind and fire type of feel to him it's like earth wind and fire meets 2021 bro it's like earth wind and fire updated and it's so so interesting the way he could pull from that sound but make it his own I always say that it's a lot of people that, 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 that make music that you can tell their influences which is cool but it just sound like they heard like it's not like he heard an earth wind and fire song it was like okay i'm finna go remake earth wind and fire song and it's like nah this is not that it sound like he grew up listening to earth wind and fire big influences but he always he still got his own sound to him though and that's what i can respect man herringbone is fire man can we get along this evening <laughs> hey man in the b is fire this is elite cookout music right here man um black team probably my favorite song man this is probably my favorite song that hook man that hook is something else man i i, I what do you say i i want to be a lover man uh what do you say uh i want to be a lover but i can't make you mine hey this is this is one of them songs where he has a lot of love songs on here but i don't know i feel like back in the 80s and the 70s they'll make a song that's sad but it had your groove and you'd be like hey you listen to some of them songs you'd be like hey, this nigga is heartbroken you feel me sometimes them brothers go in there and just start singing and crying in the booth but they'll mask it sometimes this is one of them songs where this is like a a, a a love song but it's not like a party song this is fire right here man this is earth wind and fire bro like this this is when i listen to this i'm like this sounds like what earth wind and fire would be if they came out in 2021 man this is such a good song this also listen to this right here it made me realize like yo bro is like a really really good songwriter i don't know if he already writes for people or not but he needs to man i love him bro he's he's one of those people that i feel like you know, like, they, they, they put out albums and they don't really get cherished at the moment, but later in their career, like, people inside the industry be like, yeah, man, we always knew he was fire, but the fans never really caught on. Like, I, I, I hope he not one of those people. I really hope he catch on with the fans. I think this album should be way bigger than it is. Like, I hope this is in movies and it's in TV shows. Like, 
that black team, bro. I can see this in Atlanta next season. I really want to be your lover. <laughs> what do you say? But I can never make up my mind. I think about the other girls. I really want to be your lover. But I can never think of my mind, I'm thinking about the other girls I really wanna be your lover Fire, man, I love this song right here, bro And if you go to Baba 70s, that riff, man That, that And then it goes back into the regular beat You start rapping and it cut back to that Bro, he, this is one of them ones where I can tell he took his time, bro. Like, this ain't one of them rushed, like, hey, I'm gonna just put this out. Then, nah, he took his time with this right here, man. Love this song, bro. When he say my grandma survived in three eras, and I say a lot for when a black person, when a black person can survive multiple 50s, 80s, 2008, that's a, they done seen a lot, bro. They done seen the Vietnam War, segregation, the crack era, the, bro, they done seen everything, bro. So, hey, I love bars like that, man. This is fire. What do he say? He said, um... He said, I don't got no platinum, but I'm but I'm stainless steel, fire. Uh, watch niggas that play blind with their eyes closed, fire. You know what I'm saying? I can't see, bro. Hey, I can't see, nigga. You got one hour, man. You got to watch them, man. You feel me? That was a fire bar. Love this song, man. Uh, next track, Amphetamines, man. This is a lovely song. I love the hook on this, man. From the feature. I'm not even going to butcher her name again. Such a good song. Uh, then we go to Sour Belts, man. Uh, very, I don't even know what to say about this. This is poetry, bro. This is very, very poetic, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? He got one of them, he got one of them just flows where he was just going and going and going and just tying stuff together. What'd he say? He say, uh, uh he said, I know some living legends living in a lot of pain, tears, tattoo. That's a crying shame. Fire, man. What? Them tears, they tattooed. That's a crying shame. He was just going on this song, bro. Just rapping and rapping and rapping. And it's a, this follows a couple songs of just straight rapping right here. Followed by DOA. Um, another one. Just straight rapping right here, bro. Love this, man. What do you say? If you was salty then, you got hypertension now. Fire. Uh, yeah, man. Just He's showing that he could really out-rap a lot of niggas. And I, I respect that, man. I love a nigga that could just bar out, man. And then he goes to who? Featuring Maxwell and Fonte. Like, what? Like, nigga, Fonte is on this album, bro? Crazy, man. Everybody slid. Maxo slid. Uh, of course, Fonte slid. Topaz slid, man. What that nigga Fonte say, man? He said, uh, he said, I get caught up in what I be doing. I don't care about what these crackers up to. Fire, and that's a fact, man. Love this, bro. I love the singing at the end, man, with that, uh, uh, all that flood in the turn. What do you say? All that flood and you turn off the faucet. All that smoke in the pipe got you exhausted. All that, -da 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 -da. and then they got the, whoo, boo, doo, doo. I love that, man. All that smoke in the pipe get you exhausted. All that flood in the chain get you the boat. Hey, I love the way that she, I don't know who was singing. I don't know if that was Topaz, but I love that outro right there, man. And then it goes right into Rich. Rich is so good. Another air, earth, wind, and fire, I feel like, uh, in, in, in inspired song, man. Uh, he was just, he, he, he was showing off his, he was showing off his singing abilities. He showed off his rapping abilities throughout this album. Hey, just all praise to the man, bro. He was going off of this, man. With the, uh, what'd he say, man? He said, uh, <laughs> what'd he say? He said, uh, he said, sometimes I be stunting like I'm rich. Some, sometimes I be friend like I'm broke sometimes, oh, oh, I be standing like I'm rich, I be standing like I'm broke sometimes, oh, oh, fire, man, love this, bro, like I said, this sounds like if Earth, Wind, and Fire was born in 1992, but still had that, you know, umph about him, it was, alright, we finna make this type of music, this is what it would be, man, fire stuff right here, and then we go to Blue featuring Gabriel Garzon Montano, the legend himself, you know, the nigga who uh, Drake featured with the Fuck me real slowly This like a baby Won't overdo 
I think his song called 6 Eight. I forget what the Drake song is called, but that's such a classic song right there. And um, yeah, man, this is so, so good, man. The way he came in with the the looks can be so deceiving, false prophets we don't believe in. Like, I love I love his singing, man. I love Gabriel singing. So uh shout out to him for landing him on album. I don't know how that even happened. He got Fonte and Gabriel got uh Gabriel um what is it, Montano on album. I don't know how that even happened. So shout out to that. Blue is such a such a fire song and it transitions into the outro man i love bugging bro this is a song uh he's talking about like bugs and then he's talking about him bugging and i think he eventually turns into a bug which is just it's a lot going on bro he was in his his frank kafka metamorphosis bag i don't know if anybody read that book but it's a book about a guy who's isolated and he eventually turns into a bug himself this is what this was i don't know if it was inspired by that but man i love this song he was just rapping then the beat change then he get to sing it with the dun, 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 dun. And then he gets back to rapping with the. He's basically talking about like he's he was he was he was laying down. He seen a bug on his wall, and he started relating to the crickets. And the cricket said, "What up?" And he was like, "What's going on?" He woke up with, with a tap on the shoulder, which is a bug. And he was like, "Nigga, am I bugging?" It's a lot going. It's literally Frank Kafka uh, metamorphosis in a song. So hey, loved it, man. And uh, yeah, this is just a really really creative. Uh, I think well thought out album, man. So hey, if you if that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. I think it's one of the best albums, arguably the best album of the year. Go listen to it, man. Until next time I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate and our players gonna play, man. Y'all holla at your boy now.